Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. That's Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 2. So one more time, be imitators of God. Therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. I want to talk to us for tonight's uh, Cowboy Church Friday night message uh, about our identity and how that's kind of challenged right now. We have been removed from a lot of us from our workplaces. Uh, some of us are separated from family, uh, and most of us have been greatly separated from rodeo and our rodeo community or bull riding community. And uh, for most of us, our identity is found in those things. It's found in our work, our family, or our interests. Uh, and with rodeo, that, that can both be career and, and interest for us. But regardless of where you fall on it, it's something that requires a lot of your attention and it receives a lot of your attention. And so our identity becomes wrapped up in that. We're defined by the things that we do and the people that we're surrounded by. Uh, and, and there's a huge community within the rodeo family. There's just a huge community that helps us become identified that way. So I want us to look then at our identity in Christ instead. We know that we're supposed to be imitators of God. We talked about in our first message out of the series about what it means to love like Jesus. And, and it's not emotion, but action. And that that's what we need to do is, is show loving action the way Christ died on the cross for us is referenced here in these verses as well. That because of that, we too should be loving others in, in sacrificial ways uh, that sometimes hard for us, that there's more things that we can do for people that sometimes isn't convenient for us, but, but it's a loving action when we carry that out for them. So as our identity is kind of in a state of flux right now, I wanted us to look then at, at what our identity could be. We know that as Christians, we're, we're supposed to be more like Christ and, and that we're supposed to be uh, a new creation. And that's what we're going to look at in second Corinthians is, uh, chapter, chapter five, 17 to 18 is therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone. The new has come. All this is from God who reconciled himself to, to reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. So again, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. So we know from Ephesians we're supposed to be imitators of God. And we know from 2 Corinthians that we're supposed to be new creations. That once we're saved, and that's what this reconciliation is, Jesus died on that cross for us. A simplified version of the gospel is that our sin separates us from God. We need to be reconciled from him, as this verse is talking, talking about. And Jesus provided the way for that. That by him taking the punishment meant for us in judgment of our sin... If we have a belief in him that he is the son of God and, and did that for us, died on that cross for us and rose again, that by asking to be forgiven of our sins, we receive the reconciliation with God through that sacrifice that Jesus made so that we can become more like him and we can become this new creation that we're, we're, that's being described in 2 Corinthians, that, that anyone who's in Christ is, is a new creation. So our understanding then is that we are supposed to be something new. We are supposed to be something different. So should our identities then be wrapped up in who we are as, as bull riders or calf ropers or, or bulldoggers? Is that what our identity is supposed to be? Is it, is it in barrel racing? Uh, no, our identity is supposed to be in Christ. But we spend so much time in those communities and pursuing those interests, and, they, and those interests require a lot of our time. So our identities often end up becoming more focused in that direction and oftentimes can become an idol, something that we actually put before God. So right now we have a situation where God is allowing us to go through, through something very difficult and we've been separated. Most of us have been separated from the things that make up our identity. So why not then pursue the things that, that are of God that help us to become more like Jesus? Why not pursue those things while we have some of that extra time? So we've talked about... Um, the, the idea of being able to attend church virtually now. So for some of us, it's hard to, to walk in the door. We're uncomfortable with that. And so we've got an opportunity where we can at least turn on a service on Sunday morning and watch it live, or we can, we can watch it later whenever we want, because most people uh, upload and keep those, most churches, I mean, upload and keep those online for us. So we have an opportunity to sort of step back into church if, if we used to go or try it for the first time without that intimidation or, or pressure. And that's a way then that we can allow uh, our time to be spent in a way that helps us to become more like Christ. The other then is reading the Bible for ourselves. Those of us that have more more time right now, we can, we can be spending time on our own that way or with our family. Those of you that have kids, we can be doing devotions with our kids uh, and just trying to understand the word. And it's hard. It's hard if you're not used to it. It takes time. 
but so, do, so does learning these sports. So if we can take the time to learn these sports, we can take the time to learn to read the Bible, learn to understand what God's going to teach us through this, and then allow that to make us become more like Christ, to be an imitator of him, uh, to be more uh, in line with that identity, that our identity then becomes shaped by the things we're pursuing this way. Cowboysofthecross.com, we're still updating that. We may not be going to rodeos to do cowboy church right now, uh, and doing this instead is the idea being we can gather together on Friday nights and there'll be a message available with the sense of us doing something in community together from our old self, that idea of doing cowboy church. But the idea of cowboy church is something that builds this identity, not our rodeo identity. So it's, it's a wonderful blending of the two. And then, as I mentioned, cowboysacross.com. We're still updating that every other Thursday. There's new material there for you to try to teach you and help you to grow and become more like Christ. So that that's our hope then is that that God has given us an opportunity to separate from our old identities and and pursue this new creation that we are in Jesus. So I want you to be encouraged and and just dig in. And if you need help, we're here to help you. Uh, I'm available to anyone that has questions if, as they're reading the Bible on their own. If you're struggling with something, I'm here. That's what I do in in, in a full time capacity. So uh, pursue this uh, as much as you can and. And it will bring you some comfort and some encouragement as you go through these difficult times. So let's let's do this together. And uh, I will see you here next week and eventually hopefully see you somewhere down the road. And we'll continue to do some stuff uh, on social media. We'll try to keep some encouraging things there for you as well. Love you guys. We'll see you somewhere soon.